for it. Look at those mountains. We just got to Maui. Woo! So happy. I just cannot believe that I'm here. It's so beautiful already and we're still at the airport because I left my phone on the airplane and I left and I got my bag from the baggage claim and I was like, oh my God, I don't have my phone. So Joey is going and getting my phone right now. He's awesome. And we also rented a car. I just can't stop staring at these mountains. That is insane. And there's palm trees everywhere. Palm trees are my favorite type of tree. We're gonna go see my buddy Sev and Lahaina. I believe that's how you say it. Lahaina? Okay, let me zoom in all. That was it. Right there. No. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Bamboo. So this is another stop on our road to Hana. This was near the banana bread stand and we just saw these beautiful rocks, this beautiful view. The water is so blue, so enjoy.
it is later in the day. Today is Friday, and so we got in yesterday, Thursday, at about 3.30 p.m. And so yesterday I didn't vlog at all because we just kind of were super jet lagged because our hour difference here is five hours. So we were just super tired the whole day. And then we went out in Lahaina. That's where my boyfriend's friend lives. And it's like, a, there's a strip of all the bars, shops, stuff like that. We got dinner there, we got some drinks. And then after that, we just went home and went to bed. So it was a really good first night actually. Today we did the first half of the road to Hana. So the road to Hana, it's basically, you're up in the mountains and you're driving through and it's like a ton of beautiful scenery. You see a ton of waterfalls and everything. The Airbnb that we are staying at has the beach right in front of us. So it's so beautiful and it's so cool. And I think I just saw a whale, so. That's why I was looking over there. But it's really nice, I can give you a little tour. This is our little living room. And it literally, it looks like just like a house. And then over here is the bed. I unpacked all my stuff. Whenever I get to a hotel or anything like that, I need to unpack my stuff immediately so I can feel like refreshed and unwind and stuff like that. I don't know, weird. And then all this is unpacked. We have the shower. Yeah. Anyway, we did the first half of the road to Hana. And tomorrow we're gonna do the second half. And so we saw some beautiful views today. So our friend is a fisherman here in Maui and he caught a bunch of fish, mahi-mahi. And so we're gonna eat that tonight. He's gonna cook it for us. We're gonna have Mahi Mahi tacos, so I'm so excited. They're gonna be so good. It's been so fun. I love it here. I feel so free and it's just so relaxing. Today, instead of doing the second half of the road to Hana, we did the big beach instead. We just spent the day at the beach because we wanted to take a break from all the traveling. And then after the beach, we went to Maui Brewing Company. This place was so good and I'm trying to find where I can get this from Cincinnati because I was that obsessed with it. We have made it to the black sand beach. I haven't been talking much because we've been super busy. But yesterday we went to the big beach and spent the day at the beach and then we went to a brewery and we just got dinner last night. So I didn't really talk much yesterday. I just kind of showed you what we were doing. So sorry about that. We were just busy and yeah. But we are at the black sand beach. It's gonna be so beautiful. 
and the entire road to Hana is just so beautiful just like the the roads and like the scenery to get here so I took some videos of that but I can't wait to show you guys the Black Sand Beach! Ah! Joey, how's it going? Good, just open the top of Chico getting ready to go to Black Sand Beach. Yep, are you excited? I am, it's supposed to be a beautiful beach. Yep. Took us a couple hours to get here, a little windy road. I was getting very car sick, <laughs> but easy. we made it, so. Not an easy road, cheers. Not an easy road to make. But it's worth it. It's so worth it, it's so beautiful. It's like, I just kind of like distract myself by looking at the scenery. If you see people stopping, tip, stop. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the view. Yeah, and then Joey, this is his hat. This is Joey's hat that he got yesterday. The Maui Brewing Company. And yeah, we got matching t-shirts too. Highly recommend going there too if you're making a trip to Maui. Yep. And so what are we also be doing today? Uh, we're going to the highest point. Okay. Oh shit. Well, we're going to Hali Aqua. It's about 10,000 10, feet up in the sky. So we're going to the highest point today. Normally people go and view the sunrise. So we didn't know you had to book in advance like 60 days to get a spot to go. So we're just gonna go and just look at the view not see the sunrise or anything like that. Maybe we'll make it for the sunset, but it's all good. We're gonna come back and do it next time. but it's definitely black down there. That's where we just were, right there. We climbed up. We went to the Black Sand Beach earlier and it was so cool. And now we're at the Garden of Eden and it's along the path of the Road to Hana. But we're actually about to leave the Road to Hana and go to the highest point of the mountain. I forget what it's called. Haleakala. It's called Haleakala. We're going that after this. So I'm just showing you some of the pretty views that are here. Great views and like beautiful nature. <laughs> We were 
Cardinal Joey. So we're on the top of Haleakala, 10,000 feet in the air on this mountain and it is so cold. We're literally in a cloud and the wind is going so crazy. I couldn't even stand out there. It's like hard to breathe when you're facing the wind. It's like so forceful, I swear I was running. And the wind was like pushing me, like assisting me in my run. Oh. It's so cool. Like, this is like a core memory for sure. Hopefully when we get down a little bit more um, closer to the bottom, we'll see the views of all the clouds and stuff like that. And it's super beautiful. It's so cool. And it's so freezing. It's like 30. 30 degrees plus insane winds. <sighs> it's crazy. Never thought I'd be so cold in Maui, Hawaii. The good thing is I'm not driving. So we're taking a little pit stop and having a beverage. So this is a Maui Brewery Company hard seltzer dragon fruit and it is so good, let me tell you. Just enjoying this beautiful view, the nice cold beverage, Maui style. Oh my God, this is like amazing. This trip has been so much fun. And today has been like the best day ever. We woke up super early at like 5.30ish. We had a really early morning to go to the black sand beach because everything is like pretty far from each other and like getting up the hills and stuff like that it takes a couple hours so we're making really good time and we still have the night ahead of us so i'm really excited i don't know what we're gonna do tonight maybe go to dinner hit some bars see the town a little bit more this is amazing Amazing, 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 amazing. And tomorrow is Monday, so tomorrow we're going on a helicopter tour, which I'm so incredibly excited about. I heard great things about it, even from the locals. And when the locals say something is good, it's like, it's good, it's good. Because a lot of people like come here are tourists and they just do like the touristy stuff. You know how it goes, even in your town. If you live somewhere that people tour a bunch, you know? But you know when the locals say it's good, that it's good. I got some banana bread earlier at Hana, on the road to Hana, and they're known for the banana bread, and it is so good. I'm gonna enjoy a little bit right now. The boys are in the restroom using it, and yeah, it's just me and my boyfriend and my boyfriend's best friend. If I didn't explain this yet, I apologize, but it's me and my boyfriend and my boyfriend's best friend from home. 
He moved to Maui and he is a fisherman. He does like deep sea fishing, catches like huge fish, sells them to the restaurants, and is like living the best life ever. Pizza. Oh shit. Woo! Woo! The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. It's cold <laughs> out there, people. Make sure you bring pants, shoes, mm -hmm. all the essentials. Sweatshirts, maybe a rain jacket. It's a little wet out there. I thought that for the longest part yeah. too. Joey got really sunburnt today. Oh. Super red. Wait, are they both the same red? Where's one red? Uh, <sighs> no, this is what hurts me. We're watching the sunset, drinking some cold drinks on the beach. Watching the whales, there's a bunch that are jumping up around here. I'm trying to get some on footage to show you guys. I hope I got, oh, I did get that. Get the boat. I got a paddle board. That's inspiring. <laughs> Too much water is getting in because that's how much low he was. The sun go. is setting. And the paddle board guy is coming back finally. We're getting a little worried about him. So we saw a paddle board, someone with a paddle board go all the way. He goes on a mission, he strutted to the beach. They're went all like the way, he minutes. went really, really far. And we were like, what is he doing? Cause the sun is setting too. So we're like getting worried about him, but we think he's coming back. And all these whales were hopping around him. This is Molokai right here.
Whoa. Yeah, gang banging, dude. I feel that all in video. <laughs> yeah. They know they're on the spot, the spotlight right now. I was getting worried for him. He was, he so was really, really, really far. Really? A little baby. baby. But still. Baby should be with their moms. We are going on a helicopter tour. Yes, we're about to go by across um, Maui. Maui. No, Maui, but. Malachi. Malachi, yeah. Can you take your phone? Stay tuned. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at
cold place. So now we are going to go on a submarine. We just had lunch at Cool Cats Cafe. It was super good. Oh, super good. We went in the sky and now we're going in the water. <laughs> The mother and then the baby is there trying to copy. So teaching moment right now we're witnessing. It was crazy. <laughs> that's number four. Yeah, that doesn't get old watching a submarine just appear from the depths. So give you an idea what we'll do next. You can see right. I promise, they're nothing to be afraid of. We actually probably won't even see them if you're out snorkeling or diving. They can feel us coming and they want nothing to do with us. They're nocturnal as well, so that's why they're not doing a lot of movement right now. They're just sort of hanging out. Yeah, so we got, yeah, but they're, they're somewhat similar. They, uh, so we'll the smaller ones in this group, these are our bluefin trevally. And then there's one really large one, that's one of our giant trevally. They're, they're in the same family, they're the first build. Its main transport was cement. So this big, big, slow-moving vessel hauling cement around, you know, not the fastest means of transportation. Eventually it did become mechanically powered through the years. And uh, it had a few other odd jobs through the years as well. It wasn't always a cargo vessel. And uh, with that, it sat right in Lahaina Harbor for around 30 years. It did eventually start to sink. So, you know, as a nonprofit, they don't have a ton of money to just throw around. So they think, oh, we can probably use our money, you know, better use to it elsewhere. So they had a few options. When this was a working vessel, there was 87 feet of rigging from the deck up, everything is considered rigging. Wow. So think all your lines that you used to pull, sailing the ship works to it still. About three years into the ship being down here, we did take those small cats down and lay them on the bow of the ship. Hey guys, so we are drinking on the boat right now. This is the boat that my uh, boyfriend's friend works at. And so after this, we're gonna go to dinner at Chemo's in Lahaina. Tonight is our last night, so I'm really sad. We got some t-shirts and memorabilia for our family, for ourselves, so I'll show you that later. But yeah, I'm really sad. Also, Maori Brewing Company is so good. Like all their drinks are so good. This is Pog. It's pomegranate orange grape or okay it's passion fruit orange guava i'm so wrong well he let us stay at his house for two nights that's a uh...
Hi guys, so it is our last day here. I'm really sad. We're actually leaving to go to the airport in a couple hours. It's 9 a.m. We packed up already. We're spending a few hours at the beach before we have to go to the airport. Our flight's not until 4.20. We'd be there at like 2-ish. We gotta clean our car because we rented it from this guy and it's like a complete mess. So <laughs> we gotta get a car wash, get gas, do everything like that. We're gonna get lunch, I believe, with our friend one last time before we're gonna go and say our goodbyes. This it's has sad. been the best trip ever. It has been the best, the best trip we've ever been on. We have been to Maui. So. Yes, if you haven't been to Maui, put that on your bucket list because it's so beautiful. And we keep seeing whales. And it's so cool. Right here. I've never seen a whale before until I've kicked it. We just saw one! Oh my god, let me get it on film. It was huge! Yeah, you can see it. Oh, did you see that? It's like moving its tail and stuff, right? Yeah, you can see him all the way back there. He's doing a tail whip. If you want to come see the whales, you got to come January between March. That's when the whales are here.